Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be looping dimension shifter in pendulums. I'm going to showcase you guys how it goes live in action in two different matches. Stay tuned to the end of the video and check it out. Before we get into the video, don't forget to check the beautiful Trip Gaming Playmat. The best playmat in the game, baby. Get yours right now if you want to put up six negates. Anyways, it's time to show you guys D shifter loops. Dimension shifter loops. Coming right now. Let's go. Let's go, boys. It is time to loop Dimension Shifter with Pendulums. It's time, boys. I'm so hyped for this video. It is a super cool hack you could do by playing Dimension Shifter in any deck that plays Pendulum Magicians. Look, and, and honestly, you should probably need to play Pendulum Magicians in every Pendulum deck this format because it kills Vanity Ruler. So here, I'm facing DDD. Like, this trick works against any deck that that dies to Dimension Shifter. So here, I'm gonna go with Dimension Shifter. After the, the Dimension Shifter hurt this version of Pendulums? Hell no, it hurts Endymion. Dimension Shifter fucking hurts Endymion 100%, but it does not hurt Zephyrus, it does not hurt Pendulum Magicians. So I think we probably gotta play Pendulum Magician and Zephyrus moving forward, because Sh Shifter is just that good. Pen Call will banish the Zephyrath, it'll banish the Pendulum Call, and uh, this version I'm playing Oaf Dragon. I'm not playing many Magicians in this version, I'm, just, I'm playing a, a small engine just for poison and harmonizing. And I have one Oaf Dragon because uh, you could Pendulum Summon the Oaf. And sometimes with Pen Call Magician, there's some cool plays you can do with it. Anyways, uh, so here is what you do. You're going to resolve everything. So plus three here quickly. I'm going to get the poison. I'm going to add it to that phase. Add this. I go Time Star. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate Time Star's effect. Because of Dimension Shifter's effect, the materials for Time Star and everything used for Dimension Shifter gets banished. And then... Time Star's effect says, read this, boys. You ready? Once per turn, you can detach access to the card. Add to your hand one dark spellcaster from your deck, graveyard, or face up extra deck. Well, guess what? Dimension Shifter is a dark spellcaster. So after you use Dimension Shifter on turn one, you use Time Star to search Dimension Shifter from your grave. And now your graveyard has nothing in it. Your graveyard has nothing in it. Your opponent is under D shifter and is literally gonna fucking pass their turn. They're passing their turn. And even if like they're straight up passing their turn. Now you have D shifter. I forgot to trigger Celestial Magician's effect. Uh, or did I summon? Yeah, I forgot to trigger Celestial Magician's effect at the end phase here. This is my mistake. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, this is unrated. I can't take it back. Uh, but right now I should have another Harmonizing Magician in my hand that was searched by Celestial at the end phase. But I forgot it. It's my fault. That's fine. He can't do anything. He's playing DD. So he literally can't do anything here. He pops my Zephyrath. I can't use Time Star Effect to protect the Zephyrath because I need to send it to Graveyard. And now it's my turn. Look at this. Look at this, boys. I have a free Graveyard. And next turn, he's fucked again. Except he's not going to have a turn because I'm going to OTK him. I'm going to activate D Shifter again. Now, even if I can't OTK, I'm still <laughs> he still loses. Even if he can't OTK, he still loses. Like, no matter what, I'm safe. So I activate, looped my D Shifter. Use it a second time. Just like that, boys. If I wanted to, I could have looped it a third time by using the D-Shifter from my hand and then use Time Star to search the D-Shifter from Graveyard to my hand, looping it for a third time. For a third time. But I see an easy OTK here. There's just no reason. I still activate the D-Shifter just in case he plays some weird hand traps. Just in case... But I'm still going to go for the OTK here. So what I do here, I go for Trapeze Magician. Uh, I'm not even going to Pen Summon at the moment. I'm gonna, now I Pen Summon so I could protect from the Nine Pillars. I put Guardian Controller Trapeze on Time Star. That's game. So GG. We're going to go. And th th that's just the trick right there. I'd happily show you guys the rest of this match. It'll be very interesting. But I will showcase the rest of this match. He goes to Talents. This is going to be a very interesting match. I'm going to showcase the rest of this match on Patreon. So you guys can go check out Patreon down below. I'm going to showcase you guys one more of this, how this loop works in action in rated games i'll showcase you guys right now if you guys want to see this match go check it out on patreon and i'll show you guys loop the, 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 the loop again in another match let's go time for the uh the loop to go in action again now of course you do need to hard draw the d shifter for this loop to work but at the same time it's that's it's not like it's not like this is a, a combo where you search d shifter i'm still working on that 
there are ways to do it. Uh, I'll talk about that in future videos where you go double time star. The first time star searches Dimension Shifter. The second time star searches Exodius, the Forbidden Lord. Summon Ex Exodius. Everything gets goes shuffles back into the deck. And then you go D Shifter. So you can still search D Shifter and Pendulum Magicians. But the problem with that is that requires two time star magicians. So at the moment, I haven't figured out a good way to do to search D Shifter from your deck and use it all the time. But for the meantime, this is the best way to loop it. Where if you were to draw it, if you don't draw the D Shifter, you just put up a, an insane pen combo, right? But in the situations where you do draw it, and look, Drytron cannot fucking play through D Shifter. It's fucking, they can't do it. They cannot play through D Shifter. Let alone D Shifter counter trap, it's impossible. So the whole game plan here is when you open the D Shifter, you you do what you just saw right there, where I research, I, I use the Time Star to search the D Shifter from my graveyard back to my hand to use the D Shifter again next turn. So you have three turns to kill. You have two turns to kill your opponent. You have this turn and then the following turn. And even if you think your opponent has traps and stuff, you could use D Shifter three times if you really want to. Uh, imagine all the Nadir servants stuck in your opponent's hand or Alistair's, stuff like that, just from one D shift. To do that three times, you don't have to kill them. So here he has two sets. I don't know what he's playing Drytron. So what I do here, I go time start to search Celestial from my graveyard rather than harmonizing because I think this guy's playing a trap deck. He set two. So I search a Celestial for a better end game here and I go, I activate D shifter right here. And now uh, he activates called by the grave on the D shifter. The re Why did he activate Call by a D Shifter? Because Drytron cannot fucking play through D Shifter. Virtual World cannot play through D Shifter. No deck can play through D Shifter this format. D Shifter is a one card auto win. So he called buys the D Shifter when I try and loop it. And you know what? That's fine. Because by him called buying this, I'm thinking, yo, this guy's playing a deck that dies to Dimension Shifter. He must and, and call like he must be playing Virtual World, something like that. So what do I do here? I'm like, I'm gonna OTK this guy into Oblivion. So, my next move here, I go Duelist Alliance into Pen Call. I go Pen Call, discard Zephyroth. I get Harmonizing, and I get Oath Dragon. And the, here, I'm going to go Zephyroth Effect to send. And then I, I go Pen Summon, and I just go for game here. I just literally attack, kill everything. Celestial is at 3,000 attack. And with Poison, this is just game right here through Nibiru. And I have 9 Pillars just in case. So, GG. And that's it, boys. That's, uh, that's how it is. Uh, he didn't think uh, that's how... Uh, Purple Poison works, so I told him, bro, I'm Triv Gaming. This is my alt account. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is game two over here. Uh, I, I'm going to showcase how this duel also goes on Patreon. So go check Patreon out. Uh, it's going to be very cool. You guys are going to see uh, Dimension Shifter and Gamma, how it works with Hand Traps versus, uh, versus Drytron going second. And if I have enough gas to kill him after, because I only have Kayubi and Oracle of Zephra, that might not be enough gas to kill him if I stop him with D Shifter and Gamma. Because just because you stop Drytron for one turn, you have to stop him the following turn. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video where I showcase you guys the, the Dimension Shifter loop that you can play in Pendulums, but you need Time Star for it. Time Star is crazy good right now. So is Magicians and Zephyrus. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 4K subscriber, 40K subscribers. And if you guys want to check out how this these last two duel matches played out, check it out on Patreon. I'll be posting both on Patreon right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! And then I go Gamma on one of them and passes his turn. That's the beauty of, of having uh, Dimension Shifter and Gamma. But now there's a big problem that I have. And that is I, I literally have three Oracle of Zephyrus and a Kayubi. I don't have much, man. I'm literally going to... I can't even attack him. I'm just going to Pendulum a Zephyr Nui and do nothing else. So I have to hope that he has nothing else in his hand. That's the issue with D-Shifter. D-Shifter is... It's good because it stops him for a turn. But when you combine it with Time Star, it stops them for fucking ever. So that's a big issue that I have with uh, uh, here... And we open, we, we bricked here, man. Look, we open, tr we, we don't have another field spell in this version. I don't play Pegasus in this version. This version has three Oracle of Zephyrus. Like, I drew them all. I'm like, what the fuck? Anyways, he passes knowing that he cannot play through a counter trap. I'm like, okay. I drew my fourth Oracle of Zephyrus. Yeah, I play four or, or No, I drew another Zephyrus. That's what I drew. I'm like, man, that is some bullshit. He ashes it. I'm like, fuck, no problem. I mean, <laughs> that's never getting resolved anyways. I have a gravity controller. Uh, pendulum i get another counter trap here i'm like okay i have two negates i can stop two dry trunk cards i'm still safe you know i'm still safe all i need to draw is one of anything like any magic specters game any like performer pals game any magician but i need to do this shit asap